All right, I'm coming to you for help on this. I need people's opinions. Um, about 10 days ago, we received a call when we were taking live calls from uh, someone who claimed to be a pro Trump individual who was formerly a moderator on what's called the Donald. The Donald was a, re a subreddit on the website Reddit that was so toxically pro Trump and spreading so much disinformation and so problematic that it was ultimately banned by Reddit. So this guy calls in and says, hey, uh, I used to be a moderator on the Donald and the guy spread even on this program disinformation about ivermectin and misoprostol. And OK, we already talked about that. I didn't think much more about it. But in the time that uh, followed the um, release of that clip, I started getting messages from people saying, hey, David, we think that that guy who called is Ron Watkins Anne wrote in and Anne said, hi, David, love your show. Thank you for the quality work you do. I just had to share that the recent caller who said he was a moderator for the Donald or whatever it's called to me. His voice sounds like Ron Watkins. Just wondering. And then another viewer wrote in Evan, who said the Donald equals Ron Watkins. Hey, David, love the show. As my sister says, after I shared a few videos, he is so astute and cute, too. OK, uh, I just listened to the new upload regarding trick by a Trumpist. The caller sounds just like Ron Watkins, the alleged 4chan QAnon leader and also the guy running for Arizona's congressional second district. Could this be the same guy? And I have to tell you, I went back and listened to it and there's definitely a similarity. Let's listen to the voice. This is Ron Watkins during a recent debate. This is the QAnon guy running in Arizona. He made that really strange opening statement. Listen to his voice here. And I will make sure that your rights are. Are kept. Thank you. OK. Here's one more clip. Ron Watkins. Listen to the voice. Ron, some people say that a lot of this was stoked by QAnon. What is yeah. your relationship with QAnon? I have no relationship with QAnon. None at all. None at all. Um, the reports are that your bulletin board sites hosted postings that launched launched a QAnon conspiracy. So I ran a free speech website and I was the administrator. And there were many thousands, thousands of people that posted on those sites. Uh, Q was just one of those. And I do not know who it was. And I'm not that. OK, so that that's the voice of Ron Watkins. Now let's listen to the voice of the guy who called me. All right. Tell me if you think this is the same person. Let's go next to uh, let's go to Rich from Illinois. Rich, welcome. Hi, David. Hello. Um, so I was a top mod of the Donald on Reddit for years until just before it was banned. And with Elon buying Twitter, do you think that there will be a general shift in policy for the uh, the tech places um, towards allowing things like medical misinformation. There's definitely a similarity. The guy said his name is Rich rather than Ron. OK, I guess you could give a different name. What do you think? Is it possible that this is the same guy? It's a very interesting question and multiple people wondering. Let's listen to a little bit more. Such as ivermectin and what Vice's motherboard did yesterday with uh, tweeting out the misoprostol for abortion pills. I don't know, guys, that it, it is very, very interesting. There is absolutely some kind of similarity. But first of all, in the middle of a congressional campaign, I don't know why Ron Watkins would be calling this show. Secondly, I don't know why he would use the name Rich. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe he would. Maybe there's a good reason why he would. Maybe it's logical that he would because he's running a congressional campaign. But it is very interesting. And that call generating so much content. And now people saying it sounds like the Q guy. So let me know what you think. I don't have any other particular information about it, but it is certainly very interesting.